Silk production is an ancient tradition in Japan that dates back to over a thousand years ago. The Japanese have mastered the art of silk farming and have become one of the leading producers of silk in the world. Silk production is an integral part of Japanese culture and has been for centuries. Silk was first introduced to Japan from China around 300 AD. And since then, the Japanese have refined and perfected the art of silk farming. Silk farming in Japan is a highly intricate process that involves the careful cultivation of silkworms, also known as Bombyx mori. The silkworms are raised in controlled environments where the temperature, humidity, and ventilation are closely monitored. The silkworms are kept in a cocoon-like structure called a silkworm house, where they can feed on mulberry leaves. Silkworms are the larvae of the silk moth, and they are commonly raised for their silk. If you are interested in raising silkworms, there are a few things you should know to ensure their optimal growth and development. The first step in raising silkworms is to obtain some eggs. These can be purchased from a reputable supplier or obtained from a local breeder. Once you have the eggs, they should be kept in a cool, dry place until they hatch. When the eggs hatch, you will have tiny silkworms that need to be fed. Silkworms are herbivores and feed exclusively on the leaves of the mulberry tree. You can either purchase mulberry leaves from a supplier or grow your own mulberry tree if you have the space. It's important to note that silkworms eat a lot, so you will need to provide them with a steady supply of fresh leaves. Silkworms prefer a warm and humid environment, with temperatures ranging between 77 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, and humidity levels of around 70%. You can create this environment by placing the silkworms in a container with a lid, along with a layer of paper or fabric to absorb moisture. A heat lamp can be used to maintain the proper temperature, and a spray bottle can be used to mist the leaves and maintain humidity levels. As the silkworms grow, they will shed their skin several times before forming a cocoon. It's important to clean the container regularly and provide fresh leaves to ensure optimal growth and health. Mulberry trees and their leaves have a fascinating and intricate relationship with the world of silk farming. Silkworms, which are the source of the luxurious and highly sought-after silk fabric, rely entirely on mulberry leaves for their nutrition and growth. These leaves are like a superfood for silkworms, packed with protein, vitamins, and minerals, and provide the necessary fuel for the silkworms to spin their cocoons. The cultivation of mulberry trees for silk farming is a practice that has been perfected over centuries in Japan. The Japanese have carefully nurtured these trees, ensuring that the leaves are of the highest quality, as this directly impacts the quality and quantity of silk produced. The silkworms can consume up to 50,000 times their weight in mulberry leaves during their lifetime, which is an incredible feat. Aside from its role in silk farming, mulberry leaves have also been used for centuries in traditional medicine and cooking. They are believed to have numerous health benefits and are used in various cuisines around the world. The leaves are said to help with digestion and reduce inflammation, making them a sought-after ingredient in health-conscious diets. After about a month of feeding on mulberry leaves, the silkworms are ready to begin spinning their cocoons. The silkworms secrete a sticky liquid called silk protein from glands in their bodies, which they use to create a single strand of silk around themselves. The process of spinning the cocoon can take several days, during which time the silkworms are relatively inactive and immobile. Once the silkworms have completed their cocoons, the cocoons are harvested for their silk fibers. In traditional silk farming, this involves carefully picking the cocoons by hand and then boiling them to kill the pupae inside. The heat also helps to soften the cocoon and loosen the silk fibers, making it easier to extract them. Alternatively, some silk producers use a baking method to kill the pupae and extract the silk fibers. After the cocoons have been harvested and processed, the silk fibers are carefully unraveled from the cocoons in long, continuous strands. This process is known as reeling. The silk fibers are then spun into threads, which can be used to create a variety of silk products from clothing and accessories to home furnishings and bedding. Finally, the silk threads are woven into the fabric using a variety of techniques, including hand weaving and machine weaving. The resulting fabric can be left natural or dyed in a wide range of colors using natural or synthetic dyes. 
Silk production is a complex and time-consuming process that requires a great deal of skill and expertise. However, the end result is a beautiful and luxurious fabric that has been prized for thousands of years for its softness, sheen, and durability. Silk, a delicate and luxurious material, has been treasured by civilizations for thousands of years. From ancient China to modern-day Japan, silk has been used to create magnificent garments that exemplify elegance and refinement. In Japan, silk is an integral part of the country's rich cultural heritage, and its production and use have been perfected over centuries. The intricate and meticulous craftsmanship of Japanese silk products is unparalleled. The stunning kimonos, obis, and yukatas made from this exquisite fabric are a testament to the skill and artistry of Japanese artisans. Each piece is a masterpiece, crafted with care and attention to detail, resulting in a garment that is both functional and aesthetic, with draperies and upholstery. Japanese silk bedding is not only incredibly comfortable, but it also adds a touch of luxury to any bedroom. Another application is in the art of Japanese calligraphy. Silk is used as a material for calligraphy brushes, as it has the perfect combination of softness and resilience to create precise strokes on paper. In fact, silk brushes have been used for calligraphy in Japan for over a thousand years, and the practice is still alive and well today. Silk is also used in the creation of traditional Japanese dolls, such as the Hina dolls displayed during the annual Hina Matsuri Festival. These dolls are typically adorned in silk kimonos and obis, and the fabric is also used to create the intricate accessories and decorations that accompany them. Another use for silk in Japanese culture is in the creation of shoji screens, which are traditional Japanese room dividers made from a wooden frame and paper or silk panels. The silk used in these screens is often adorned with beautiful patterns and designs, adding to the elegance of the room in which they are displayed. In addition to these traditional uses, silk is also utilized in modern-day Japan for a variety of purposes, including the creation of high-end electronics and medical devices. Its unique properties, such as its strength, flexibility, and ability to conduct electricity, make it a valuable material in these industries. Silk production is an essential part of Japanese culture and history. The meticulous process of raising silkworms and producing silk has been passed down for generations and has helped to shape Japan's economy and reputation as a world leader in the silk industry. Through their dedication to quality and precision, the Japanese have mastered the art of silk farming, making it an integral part of their national identity. The production of silk in Japan is not only a vital industry, but also a cultural symbol that showcases the country's history, tradition, and artistry. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating process of how the Japanese farm millions of silkworms for silk. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.